Hello and welcome to this lecture on multifetal gestation. In this session, we will explore the types of multiple pregnancies, how they develop, their associated risks, and key management strategies. This lecture is based on Beckman's gynecology textbook and aims to provide a comprehensive understanding of this topic. Let's begin by understanding the prevalence and significance of multifetal gestations. In the United States, multifetal pregnancies occur in about 3.5% of all pregnancies, but they contribute disproportionately to perinatal morbidity and mortality. The nature twinning rate is approximately 1 in 80 pregnancies and higher in African Americans. Over the past few decades, the incidence of twins and high-order multiples has risen due to factors like delayed maternal age and increased use of assisted reproductive technologies such as in vitro fertilization and ovulation induction drugs. Twinning can be categorized into two major types, dizygotic and monozygotic. Dizygotic twins often called fraternal twins and result from two separate ova fertilized by two separate ova, uh, two separate sperm and it leads to genetically unique siblings. Monozygotic twins are identical twins occur when a single fertilized egg splits into two embryos and this type of twinning is less influenced by population differences unlike dizygotic twinning and affected by factors such as maternal age, parity and genetic predisposition. Chorionicity refers to the type of placental management in twin pregnancies. It plays a critical role in determining pregnancy outcomes and management. For example, if the fertilized egg splits within three days, the result is diaminoic, dichorionic twins, meaning each fetus has its own placenta and membranes. If the split occurs between four to eight days, the twins share a single placenta but have individual amniotic sacs, termed diaminoic, monochorionic. A division occurring between 9 and 12 days results in monoamnionic, monochorionic twins, where both fetuses share the same sac. Delayed division beyond 12 days can lead to conjoint twins, a rare and complex condition with high mortality rates. One of the most significant challenges in multifetal gestation is the risk of preterm labor and delivery. On average, single-tone pregnancies reach 39 weeks of gestation, whereas twins are typically delivered at 35 weeks, triplets at 32 weeks, and quadruplets at 30 weeks. Preterm delivery increases the likelihood of neonatal complications such as low birth weight, respiratory issues and longer hospital stays. Multiple uh, or multifetal pregnancies also pose heightened risk for the mother. For example, women carrying twins are three times more likely to develop preeclampsia compared to those with single tone pregnancy. Other common complications include gestational diabetes, which requires careful monitoring and postpartum hemorrhage, a significant concern during delivery. From the new nates perspective, the risks are substantial. Multiple gestations increase the chances of stillbirth, congenital anomalies and the neurodevelopmental issues such as cerebral palsy. These complications are often a direct result of prematurity and the challenges associated with managing multiple fetuses in utero. 
द राइज इन मल्टी फीटल प्रेगनेंसीज इज क्लोजली लिंक्ड टू द यूज ऑफ एसिस्टेड रिप्रोडक्टिव टेक्नोलॉजीज और ए आर टी दिज प्रोसीजर्स ऑफन लीड टू द इम्प्लांटेशन ऑफ मल्टीपल एम्ब्रियोज इंक्रीजिंग द रिस्क ऑफ हायर ऑर्डर मल्टीपल्स लाइक ट्रिपलेट्स और क्वाड्रिपलेट्स to mitigate these risks the guidelines encourage limiting the number of embryos transferred during art additionally a procedure called multifetal pregnancy reduction can be offered in certain cases to improve outcomes for the remaining fetuses